New details now on the deadly mass shooting at a high school in Texas. The suspect in Friday's shooting is making some chilling revelations to police as a 17-year-old's family says in a statement that they are as confused and shocked as everyone else. CBS 4's Courtney Zabowski is in Santa Fe with the latest. A grieving community gathered to remember victims of the mass shooting at Santa Fe High School. Earlier, students were allowed back to campus to gather the belongings left behind in the chaos. These sophomores were in class when a fellow student opened fire. I felt like my heart dropped to the floor, like in my chest. Like, I was like, oh my God, it's not a joke. Ten people died in the massacre, and another 13 were wounded, including substitute gym teacher Flo Rice. She was shot in the leg and played dead until officers arrived. Investigators say the suspect, 17-year-old Demetrius Pogorchis, confessed to the crime. Are you requesting consideration for a court-appointed attorney? Yes, sir. Nicholas Pale is one of his attorneys. This is a very young uh, kid. He's... Uh, uh, you know, in very trying circumstances, to say that he's doing well uh, surely wouldn't be accurate right now. Sophomore Gavin Hawk played football with Pogorchis. He was a weird kid sometimes, but we all loved him. He was just another one of the guys. Investigators say the suspect exchanged gunfire with law enforcement before he surrendered. He left behind homemade bombs, but officials say they were harmless. Santa Fe's mayor-elect says his immediate goal is to comfort the victims' families. We need to unite as one during this tragedy. We are hurt, but not broken. The school district's police chief says his officers did exactly what they'd been trained for, running into the school immediately to face the shooter. Courtney Zabowski, CBS News, Santa Fe, Texas.